Hey bud. All right, that one's there. Pets for everyone, eh? Okay, back at this. So I gotta push this motor a little bit more back, get it squared up. Um, I just have the front sitting on some blocks right now. Uh, if I can raise it up, I'm gonna raise it up, but it's a little too much angle right now. So, uh, yeah. But I think it's gotta shove a wee bit over. We'll try to make a little bit of room, even if we gotta put it in just a slight bit crooked. Shouldn't affect anything. And then, uh, yeah. What I'm gonna probably do is I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna put a temporary cross member in so I can get those uh, straps off, to which then I can get this motor to slide a bit. It doesn't wanna move on the straps that I have it hanging on right now. So I'm gonna zap a bar across really quick. That way I can scoot the motor back a bit and then I can work on a game plan for the motor bounce. Hopefully it won't be too much fab work and I can use those plates. That worked. So I just made this bracket here. I just tacked it in. I still have my straps as a safety underneath, but that let, allowed me to be able to push the transmission back further, to which then gives me plenty of steering clearance. Uh, even when you're turning lock to lock, ugh, it like just, just clears. Let's see if I can, oh, it's hard to turn from up here or down here. So, that part is good. We can proceed to make a mount in the back now. Now I'm gonna work on these motor mounts. I'm mixed, but I think if I fab these over, I can use, these are the truck mounts. I'm just gonna use two of, I don't know which side this is. I think it's the passenger side. I'm gonna use two of these to make my mounts. Um, you could use the other ones, like I said, out of the truck, but I find they're really, they become bulky and weird. Like that's the one side. I don't think I benefit anything because I think I have to add some material on top. So, if I show how my plan is to do this, is that would like bolt in place. Yeah, can you actually see this? I don't know. Nope, you can't. Let me get a light. Alrighty. So my plan is to trim back this mount so that it can bolt in place and then I just have to add some metal to the sides of everything. So I'm basically just repurposing all the truck stuff. You could use the other mount, but I find I have to cut so much down. Um, I might mock one up just for the heck of it, but for now that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play with that a little bit, trim up one see how it fits, if I can tack it in place. Then at least I can get the block out from uh, under the front of the motor and uh, try to square up the back of the transmission a little more and we should be golden. So, okay, this is gonna be the basis of my mount. I tried doing it with some two by two, but it kind of sits a little low in the frame and it's just not gonna work out happy. So, I'm just gonna start with this base. I'm gonna go here. Let me do the other side maybe. Maybe you can see that one. So we're kind of starting with this. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm going to plate this side, put a plate on this side. I don't know if the center is so important, but I might do uh, a plate straight in as well. So it's kind of similar to what I have, or I'm gonna do on this side. I just gotta clean everything up in there and then uh, basically start jigsaw puzzling it together. Uh, my original idea was I was just gonna take a two by two 
and it would it would work but i'd have probably because it would sit at such an angle it goes under the frame so i'd have to kind of come straight and do this and there's tons and tons of angles so i'm like eh i'll just cut a bunch of flat plate and boom 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 weld it in quick and be done so anyways i am going to get started on that uh it's too hard to film so i'm pretty much just going to do it and then i'll show you when i'm done Well, I played a bunch of Tetris. It's working pretty good. I don't think that I actually need a filler in there. Like, it's plenty strong. I don't can't say I have any concern about the mount. Uh, kind of have both sides glued in. I may still do a filler. I don't know, but there's also somewhere for garbage to come out. So, uh, with that said, maybe I'll leave it. Uh... Man, I really don't think a manifold is going to fit on this side. I'll have a look. We'll try it. Even try the other side, see. This side shouldn't be a problem, but again, I'll have a look. I'll get this shift cable out of here and that is long, eh? Look at that sucker. Yeah. Let's put it down there for now until I figure out what I'm doing. All right, let's grab an exhaust manifold and see what, what fits here. So that is not working. I think we need headers. Well, before I give up on these, I'm going to uh, experiment and cut this sucker up. I've done that in the past. When we've done a lot of the turbo stuff. So, what have we got to lose? We'll see, unless it's like a crazy amount i got to notch out. But... Like we were saying the other day, what's the difference between uh, taking a little bit of a slice out of this manifold and beating the beans out of a set of headers? It's pretty much the same deal, right? <laughs> I'm just going to quickly blast the plasma. I'm going to take a chunk out of that. See, if I can do it nicely, I can maybe turn it around or something. But, uh, yeah, either it'll work or it won't. Eh, no biggie. What have we got to lose? A zero. So here's where we are with this. <laughs> There's a lot of hackery going on, but it fits. There's actually plenty of room. This thing doesn't be as aggressive. If I just turn this piece around, it'll be like plenty. 
And you only need that, like if this was just welded like that, you don't lose any flow really or anything, and it would be fine. Um, you just need this clearance so you don't have to like take your steering box off to uh, get the manifold on. So that part's easy. The second part is this manifold hits the frame. So a feller could just sleeve this with a piece of pipe, buzz it, take all these off, and it is what it is. You can clamp the edge on or do something or make a different flange. I personally would just have this come down and weld it on and if a guy ever had to do a motor or something, you could take the manifold off or you could just cut the pipe. It's not a big deal to me. As long as you can cut it in an accessible spot that you can weld, do the full weld. So if it were me, I would just cut this thing off, weld this on. I mean, other people weld V-bands onto this. Like people weld these all the time with no problems. So I've welded them and I've had no problems, but I'm uh, gonna leave that to the discretion of the other feller. See if he cares or not. I don't think he's gonna. And uh, I think I'll just weld this. If it's a go, we're just gonna weld this up. I'm gonna weld a, you know, like a chunk of pipe on the end of here, kind of open this up a little bit, I'll sleeve it in, burn it on, bada bing, and it's gonna fit like a glove. It'll be just mint. So I'm going to fix this up to work on the car regardless, because if I don't use it on this one, I'm gonna use this somewhere else. So um, what I'm gonna do basically is clean this up so I can buzz this in the other way, however I gotta do it. We'll do that with some weld. I'm going to cut this flange off. I'm going to weld this pipe into it. And uh, we should be golden. So this is all together. I'm pretty happy with it. It's hot as heck. Uh, but we got this going on here. I cut that flange off. I welded this on so I can buzz on or we can clamp on. I don't know. We'll figure that out after. Um, I don't know exactly what rod I'm using. It's this one here. Basically I told the dude at the shop what I was doing and he recommend these rods. So we've welded a lot of this junk and it's been good. So I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. Then again, if it breaks or something happens, I'll just re-weld it. Not a big deal. It's uh, it's only metal, so the feather can just keep welding her up until it turns into a problem, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, you're going to let this cool, then I'm going to pop it on the car. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. Well, I can't recall if I chit-chatted about this. It fits good, but I need a little more clearance. Like I can just stab, whatever. 
like I have clearance around it, but it's really tight. So I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to clearance the manifold just a little bit more. And then we should be golden with that. Uh, we'll have to get the wipers over to the one side with the vacuum. So that's cool. Uh, I think I'm actually going to leave the power steering pump on. But I'm just going to loop the lines. Um, in case he ever decides to put power steering in it, the option's there. So I'm going to basically do a lot of running around right now. Um, I have to make a tranny cross member yet, but I'll do a few things upstairs here. I'll take that manifold off. I will... Yeah, I'll get to that rat after. Yeah, we'll start with the one thing. Should be straightforward. Uh, You've seen me cut it, so I'm just going to cut it, do it, put it back on, call it a day. And then, uh, whatever. We'll, we'll work on some other stuff. <laughs> Well, that thermostat threw me for a loop. Normally I can just open them up and spin them. But uh, this one I guess is like some aftermarket one. So I can't really clock it because it's not the one with the built-in thermostat. So I can't uh, like locate it and then spin it. So I have to come up with another game plan. I don't know what temperature this one is. Anyways, whatever. I'll see if I have another one. At least I can point it down, make my life easy. But we got the battery box in, the heater hose are hooked up. Uh, I found a cover for it, just set that up. I am working my way through the wiring here. Well, not doing much. I kind of just plugged everything in. I'm going to have to run stuff and do my little magic in there yet. Uh, I found one of these trays to hold the computer. So these are from the ones I was talking about, S10s and stuff. Usually they sit on an S10 up in the far corner. The V6 ones. Uh, I think actually all of them. The older stuff. Anyways, it can sit nicely in this uh, vicinity here. And then I can uh, snap it in place. I'll put the computer over there. Uh, I did find an old, like the old fuse boxy thing. So I'm going to try to adapt that to make it look at least pretty. <laughs> If that's a thing. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. I am now working on the shift cable. On this one, I'm not going to flip it like I did on the uh, panel van. So, uh, what I got is I just busted this little a dongle under the steering column, which is what the button is for the uh, shifter here. This thing snaps into there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use the column, dunk, dunk, the shift. I'm going to zap the, the selector so this other one doesn't move. I'm going to burn this one up on top into there. And hopefully you can see. Yeah, right there. <clears throat> to which I am then going to have this one. Like it's going to do the flop over the motor. But at least then I can snap it onto here. This upper part I will uh, zap over to the bracket, like um, to the firewall. And then, you know, you can still remove it like factory where you just kind of do your thing. But then you should get the sweep. 
looks like it's long got enough sweep in there I can go through all the gears so this will kind of hang over I'll go in through the buttons across and uh, golden do to do, do I snipped the battery cable off of here because the battery is going to stay in the stock location it fits fine there so uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, what I snipped off I'm going to just snap a new lug on the bottom stand it down to the starter run it up so we were going to run the original rad yet but I'm going to buy get a uh, like an aftermarket trans cooler to stick in front of it so we're waiting on that we're going to wait for that I'm waiting on the fuel tank a bunch of brake parts uh, new master cylinder stuff like that so uh, I'm gonna probably go underneath make a tranny cross member yet uh, do my shifter doodad over there that way I can figure a way to get all my cable mounted under the car and probably drop the fuel tank so at least I know what's happening there and then when I get the new fuel tank I can just pop it in place So I'm semi working on the exhaust. I won't be running the exhaust, but I want to get the O2s in. Uh, made a super simple cross member. So this was just holding the motor up before, or the transmission. Uh, I just, I don't know, I didn't make it very complicated. Took some angle iron, punched some holes in it, buzzed it to this bar. You got your transmission mount right there. I took another half of the angles, it's welded into the chassis. And, uh, All is good. So in the chassis, you just see, I just buzz the tabs. I'll probably make a little gusset maybe in there yet. I don't see a real need for it, but... And, uh, yeah, that's it. So on the other half, I'm just working on the exhaust. I'm just going to have them uh, dumping down, and I can just run a regular exhaust on it after. And... Ouch. That was my head.
easiest tank removal I've ever done. <laughs> like everything just came apart. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna have to order up some U-bolts and stuff. Cause I'm thinking we're gonna swap out this diff yet. I think he has a nine inch he wants to run in here. So we're gonna do that only because I don't think this diff's gonna last. So to put money in it doesn't make sense. The uh, cross member there, she's uh, bolted in. Our exhaust is kind of hanging there, usable for somebody. You can see our motor mounts, which is nothing special, but they work plenty fine. So, yeah, that's all right. Just kind of use junk I had on hand, so that's all right. Um, what do we do? There's not much we can do down here. I'm waiting on some fuel lines. I'll have to do just gonna run all new brake lines, stuff like that. Uh, I don't know what side the line is on the other diff, but chances are I'm gonna wanna move it over to this side with the fuel lines, all to uh, plumb all that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So I guess that's about all I can do under here. I did disconnect or um, added a lug onto here for the battery, so I didn't have to go piggyback over to the other side. My O2s are hooked up, so we're kind of done down here for now. Till we get some more parts. Uh, gonna do a little more upstairs and uh, put some oil in there and yeah. It's still kind of early tonight so gonna give it for another hour or two see what I can get done on the motor if I can get that PCM mounted and uh, I don't know we'll find out. things to do for now so I'm gonna give this a shot I'm gonna clean this up a little under here and uh, we'll just make an outlet or uh, you know the water neck that we need so I had some tube and that was the right size so the idea is I'm gonna goob it all and kind of make a downspout with it so uh, kind of got everything clean ish hopefully hopefully it welds without too much grief <laughs> This is all newer stuff, so it should be okay. So I got that done. Man, I don't know why, but aluminum is just my nemesis. I can never weld that stuff right. My life depended on it. Starts good and it's just, everything is always dirty. Just can't deal with that. Anywho, that thing should be fine. And so I can get that on. I guess uh, it's kind of late now. I guess tomorrow I'll try to get the rad in. Uh, run the lines out for the trans cooler. Uh, I do have to put that little vent, whatever they call this, the steam port. I'll have to make something for that. And uh, I guess uh, start dialing with the wiring, but yeah, until we get some parts. I think I'm kind of stuck here for now. Anyways, we'll see what we get. Okie doke. Next morning, I realized I didn't show you folks my shifter setup. So it's there, up to a mount up there. Um, 
Let me prop you up here and then I'll show you. I realized I didn't show you my shifter setup, so this is up here, the pin's up here. I haven't put the lock in it yet. I guess that's this here, but I won't do that right now. But there's the tab on the bottom. I guess this was some other safety thing or something in the truck normally, but whatever. I just, like I say, took the pin off. I welded it in there. I just put the tab up there. And then now when you're in the car, come on. you got full sweep. Easy peasy. Um, because I'm going to be using the plug everything on here and I still have the neutral select, you'll have your neutral and your park safety. So that'll be good. But there's no lockout, so a guy's got to be kind of careful when you're with the shifter doing this kind of a setup. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So, a new day. Uh, I'm going to put on that water neck thing that I did. And then, uh, I guess I'll try to manipulate these lines a little more. And we'll try to stab the rat in. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to weld this bar back on. And at some point here, I'm going to have to mess around with that throttle cable. Oh yeah. I don't like to throw stuff away, so I'm pretty sure I got some room in the shed, so I'm going to go throw this one in the shed for now until I figure out what new life that it's going to live. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this moved out. Well, other than, so we got the rad in, so they get a trans cooler, run the lines up the front there. Uh, I gotta get a bunch of hose clamps. But a rad is in, that's in. Still gotta loop it, uh, the power steering pump, do the whole throttle deal, and uh, wire it. But uh, pretty close. Waiting on brakes, fuel system, stuff like that. So, kind of starting to creep to a halt on this one, but uh, till parts come in, I guess I'll get the gas pedal in and a few things, but there's not too much more I can do until everything else shows up. So, let's 
So I guess that's where I'm going to leave this video because I have a few little things to button up and get some hose clamps tomorrow, but uh, until the rest of the stuff shows up, I guess I'm kind of stuck in limbo. I'm hoping this week though that should be here. So as always, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.